I speak with regard for another and um, many of you do not like my speech or my mannerisms or my theology or what a doctor we're going to call it. Um, you know, I speak the way I speak. Um, come from a region of the country, which unlike I would say most YouTubers is particularly despised in the United States and considered no good. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry, you know, you may not like where I come from, just as we, uh, many of us, the same, that are the hypocrites. Um, and I'm sorry, you know, if you think this is unfair, it is in completely and entirely fair. Um, just as in this country, the United States, we disregarded and did not like um, the blacks in the 50s. And you believe that, if you're familiar with this, and other countries that are multiracial, you believe that in that time people did not like blacks. This testimony is not true. You believe that in that time people did, did not like blacks. This testimony as well is true. In uh, this year of 2009, we have the same thing, consistency, that there are people still in this country who do not like blacks. And let alone that, um, building the railroad in the west, in the western part of the United States, California, if, if for those of you who are foreign who don't know, you know, to speak my language, English, don't know, um, there were a lot, a lot of Chinese in California and my understanding is that they were despised as well. Particularly Italians, my ancestors, as well, because with they, they were afraid that with them would come the mafia. <laughs> and we and people lived um, in an age where they had more standards, um, let alone let's speak not speak of um, that they had um, greater um, greater morals um, you may believe that you may not nothing has changed when we look back to Jesus time has anything changed no the same Jesus that was hated and I could I got my Bible right here in case I picked that up you know, many of you, I'm sure, would make the excuse that you don't like me because I don't read sufficiently for my Bible. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Phil Headache Healer, reads from his Bible quite frequently. And you say, well, these two do not connect. Well, there is a testimony about that. And I have a testimony as well about someone. Hmm. So I think a lot of people mark these and look these up beforehand. And frequently I go on memory. <clears throat> Let's see. If I can find it. Oh, all the digging around. Let's see. Wine skins. Hmm. Let's see. 
But anyway, the testimony with Jesus was the same. Well, Phil had a killer read from the scriptures, and I follow Phil, and he is a friend of mine. And um, also, there was the same thing in Jesus' time. Did you hear Jesus reading from the scriptures in the scriptures? Did he ever pull out a Bible? Well, he did in the synagogue. Is there any other time? Don't believe so. But that it's not biblical? A servant is supposed to be like his master. So you see the master and the servant and the servant and the master. Um, and you look at one man and you say that man is completely opposite another man. And I criticize primarily those who supposedly have a testimony of Jesus who would instruct others. Who put themselves in Moses' seat in, in, in some way and who take the position of the scribes whom Jesus said, and you scribes, after he began with the Pharisees, he cut into the scribes. A, what a, a, um, I usually can remember it, but it's not, I'm not, not coming here right now, but, um, oh, uh, um, uh, a bruise reed, that's what it is. A bruise reed, he will not crush. A smoldering wick, he will not snuff out. So, if you stand weakly, then, you know, maybe that is where you st should be standing, rather than with the Pharisees and with strength. But that strength in numbers and in trickery. Jesus said unto them, here's something I was not looking for. This is Mark. Ooh, nice name. A prophet, Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, except in his, in his hometown and among his, his relatives and in his household. So Jesus was without honor at times, was crucified. And... We listen to people who do nice presentations and they're attractive and everything. We're glad to see a good presentation. But whose testimony are we seeking? Oh, I think I remember. I think I remember where it was. Some of you may be kicking me, but... So, Jesus spoke about differing testimonies. How these testimonies did not seem to come together. See, you don't want me to offend you who are reprobate, not you who are weak, not you who are sinful, um, not the pagans and not the atheists, but you who say you're with me. Um, I believe it says in Isaiah that, you know, um, my name is profaned among the nations because of you. So, it is those who lift themselves up, those who will not listen, those who are hypocrites, who need to hear that, who need to hear this. Yeah, I'm, I have the wrong book and I, I, I know, I'm pretty sure what book it's in here. How did I get, I thought I went to this book already. Um... And if I cannot find it, I will simply quote it as, as to my best. But you look for 
Um, <clears throat> You look for those who will make you feel good. And those who say, oh, I'm not going to make you feel good, you enjoy those people because they, are, they, they never really criticize you. and They don't speak the truth. The language of this world is lies, deception, and accusation.